Today I'm gonna take you to Rio, one of the most beautiful cities of the world, with paradise tropical beaches and unique culture. But I'm not gonna take you to the mainstream locations. I decided to do something a little different today and take you to a favela, the Brazilian slums. I'm going with a local friend to this favela called Vidigal, and we are gonna do two different things. First, we're gonna hike around the hill of Morro dos Dois Irmãos to see the also known as the best view of Rio. And then after, we're gonna explore the favela to show you the culture, the people, and the reality of this amazing place. Welcome to Rio. I'm in one of the most beautiful cities of the world. I'm super excited to be here. The hike starts at Vigigal. This is the beginning of the favela uh, and we need to get a moto taxi to the top of the hill so we can start the hike. It's my first time going to a favela here in Rio. I'm a bit nervous but also super excited to show you a little bit more of the culture and not just the touristy ones. Let's start the hike and also our tour around the favela. The square where you get the motorbike to get to the top of the favela. That's the hill where we're gonna go. That's my local friend, he's already making friends and we're gonna go. The only way for you to get in the favela and to go all the way to the top is with a moto taxi or with a van from the community that only costs seven reais. And you cannot go with your own car. Now we're gonna start the the hike. The hike you need to pay 10 reais for them to for the community, 10 reais per person. And this is where you start the hike. It's right in front of this beach. The hike is about 40 minutes to get to the top. Um, it's not considered difficult, but it's the whole way up, so I'm already <laughs> breathing different. Show your flip-flops. <laughs> Look at this! Yeah, that's how, that's how Brazilians hike, always with flip-flops. I, I don't know if I've lived abroad too long and <laughs> I prefer to do with hiking shoes. We just got to the first viewpoint. You can see the beach there. It's a bit cloudy, but really pretty anyways. You can see the favela here. Which one is this one? Hosinha. This one is a more dangerous one. You're not... The biggest one. The biggest one. The biggest How many one people? In Brazil. About 200,000 people. Wow. This is bigger than many towns in Europe. <laughs> Now we finally got to the top and it's breathtaking. Look at this, Ipanema Beach, Copacabana. I'm so happy to have done this hike. going down back to the favela of Vidigal. This hike, I think it was a little bit more than 40 minutes, maybe like 50 minutes, a little bit harder than what I expected, but I still think it's because it's way too hot and way too humid. So you just, I was exhausted. <laughs> I'm excited to walk around the favela. It's really good to have a local here with the proper accent, talking to the people, just in case like some people didn't want me to film in some places and they went talking to him and he was like 
uh, negotiating with them, like, no, it's okay, like, she's just gonna do this. If it was only me by myself, I was gonna get a little bit scared, because it's probably because I was filming, you know, people that I shouldn't film, but yeah, with him I feel much safer. <laughs> well, let's go to the favela, I'm super excited. Obrigada! Let's try it. Actually, I've already tried, so I'm not gonna lie, it's very good. The best way to get the energies back after a hike. Here, Obrigada, Flavio. <laughs> Got the acai, um, and now we're gonna go up to see the view from the favela and also to walk around the favela. I was talking to the guy from the acai, and he was explaining how it works. He said, in this favela, it is okay for you to film, but you just need to be careful in a few areas. Not because you're gonna be robbed, but maybe because you're gonna film someone. Uh, so sometimes you see people with um, guns. So you obviously are not supposed to film them. I still didn't see any and I'm not gonna film them. But if I see, I'm gonna let you know. The football boys. Doing kind of a party up there, and they said we're it's okay for us to film. Let's go. We're gonna. Tá bom, vamos. They want me to film them.
We just passed through an area of the favela with a few people that we shouldn't film. So the guy, he had a gun and he saw that I was filming, but I didn't film him. I didn't see he was there actually. And then he just, he was super polite and he said, did you film, did you get me in the video? If you did, can you please cut it off? He had a gun. He was super friendly, just said, make sure I'm not in the video with a gun on top of his legs. And I was like, okay. But yeah, you just need to be like super respectful with these people. And they are, they are nice, they are friendly. It's just a very different reality to ours, so we need to respect. Um, and yeah, now we are walking a little more down to see some other places of the favela. Always being careful with what I'm filming. Uh, but yeah, let's see a little bit more. Look at that view! Oh my god! So I definitely recommend you to come to Vidigal. Everyone is so friendly. And yeah, you need to be careful, you need to be you go to the right places, but really just talk to them. I asked most my friend asked a lot of people, can we film here? Is it okay? And everything was good. Aí ó! Aí, amigo! <laughs> We just saw a toucan and it just flew away. Now we're trying to find it. Ele vai tentar achar? Aonde que tá? It's so nice because in the middle of the favela you can just like find wildlife. I want to see the toucan. It was so pretty. I saw it but I couldn't film it. Sobre aqui, ó. Daí dá pra você ver. Dá? Dá. Cadê? I stayed around two hours in the favela, walking around the streets, talking to people, and filming as much as I could. But this is to show you a little from this reality, and to also show you how people are friendly here. I loved my time at the Vidigal, and I definitely recommend you to come when you're in Rio. Now, let's go to Vidigal Beach. <laughs> Hello, my friends! <laughs> This is Daniel, he took me with the motorbike up and he also took me down. He's a great guy, if you come here to Vidigal, make sure to talk to him. He can do a little tour with you. See? Bye! <laughs> we just left the, the beginning of the favela and now we're gonna go down to the beach. This beach is called Vidigal Beach. Um, and you need to go down a few steps to get to the beach. We are super tired from the hike and also from walking around the favela. We just had an acai, so we are also very hungry. We're gonna stay a little bit in, at the beach and then after we're gonna go to a very good restaurant so we can eat something very traditional. I'm excited about that, I love Brazilian food. Now we're gonna go to the beach. Wow, the view is already amazing. And the color of the water is, wow. It's a very traditional restaurant here in Rio and it's a lot of Brazilian 